Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the new Event Calendar Maker Excel template. This is the version three of this template. And thanks to everybody who purchased the previous versions and also gave valuable feedback and support to continue to improve this template. And I'm glad to say that I've been able to implement most of the commonly requested features. And this version is a lot more powerful than the previous versions. And in this video, I will provide an overview of the features included in this template. And also we will take a quick look at the template itself. In other videos, I will be providing step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to enter the data in the template and create fully customized personalized calendars all within Excel. And let's go and check out the features of this template first. And so this event calendar maker is an Excel template that will help you create your own personalized, customized calendars with your own events. And this is an all purpose calendar maker. So whether you use it for project management, whether you use for appointments, whether you use it for schools, uh, in schools, uh, creating calendar of school events or examinations or whatever it is. That's why I call this an all purpose calendar visualization options and controls. The template creates seven different calendar designs instantly. And also it gives you a lot of control over the colors that you use for different types of events. And practical functionality means the, there are many times when you have events that are recurring, reoccurring every week or every month, you don't need to actually enter them one by one. All of that will be taken care of by the template and you just need to enter one line of row, one line of data, and then the template will automatically create several, several instances of that reoccurring event. And it's very, very simple, easy, and quick. So it's very easy to get started. You can get create your own calendar within minutes, uh, within a few minutes, you have your own calendar that you can print or export to PDF and share. And all of this is within Excel. It is going to be just an Excel workbook that you will use to create these um, calendars. And it is tested in Microsoft Excel for Windows 2010 and above, and also Excel for Mac 2011 and above. And this is a, just a regular Excel workbook, and it does not have any programming or macros or anything like that. Now, this is going to help you create calendars for any year, and you can choose for any year. So this is not a one-time uh, or a, a calendar that is designed only for 2016. You can use this calendar to create your own calendars for any year in the future or in the past. And you can start customize it in many ways. Start any month. You start your week with any weekday. You can have your own weekends and holidays, and it can handle up to 300 events and 1,200 instances. Please note that instances means if you have an event, if you have a weekly event that runs for four weeks, that's one event, but it creates four instances. So that's how, that's what that means. And visualization, as I said, it categorizes, you can categorize the events into different event types and assigned colors, and you have 15 colors to choose from. And there are seven automatically created calendar designs and different frequency types, 12 different frequency types of events that you can create. You can prioritize events to, you know, to decide which colors should show up if you have conflicting events on the same day. You can easily deactivate the event if you don't want one event to display on the calendar just for that one PDF that you want to create. It's very easy to deactivate and activate it again. And it handles business days and non-business days. And as I said, you can create the calendar very quickly and they're all print ready. So they're all pre-built with uh, print uh, previews. And so you can just click print and it prints nicely only the calendars for you. So um, as I said, we can customize it and uh, however you would like. The, these are some of the samples of the design. So we, you get a yearly design, which will have 12 months. I only show eight months in the screenshot so that we can see the whole, uh, the, the dates more clearly, but this is a yearly design. It's a one page. And then when you go to the next design, you actually will get the calendar along with the events listed. And then the next design allows you to create uh, monthly so each page will be one month much larger in size so that you can if you want to print it or PDF it actually will be a lot clearer um, you know one month at a time and then um, the next design will be 
similar uh, but one month at a time but you can actually see the names of the events on the calendar um, from based on customer feedback this is the most uh, commonly used view because it lists multiple events for the same day uh, and this the previous design allows five events maximum per day to be listed or displayed on the calendar but then the the next view which is actually one month and it allows up to 10 different events on one day so this is the um, newly added uh, calendar design based on customer feedback and this is one month at a time but you can definitely type in any month and automatically this will update and provide you that month's events the next design is the weekly design where you can type in any date and you can see the seven days beginning from the, that date and then you can see all the events for each of those days with the names and the colors and these uh, can be up to 20 events can be listed um, for each day and the next is the daily design so this is a seventh design and this has um, this will show only events for one day that you, whatever day you choose but in addition it can actually display the time and the uh, description of the event and also a couple of extra columns that you can use it for your own purpose. It can also display 20 events per day. And um, as I said, there are 15 different colors to choose from, 12 different event types. Uh, there are 12 frequency types of, uh, for events that you can create, easy to prioritize and deactivate events. Um, and um, it does not create any reminders for events. It's not integrated with any other software. You, it's, it's a standalone Excel workbook. So, you know, you want to make backup copy so that you don't miss anything in between if you're, you know, something crashes. So, you know, all the standard uh, prevention mechanisms that we use, you need to do it. It's just a regular Excel workbook. Uh, more information about this product can be from this product page. And this is Inzara. And if you have any questions about the template, you can email inzara gmail.com. I will also post this brochure on um, the site as well. Now, let's take a quick look at the template. So now I have the template open. Uh, please note that this is a template where I've actually filled in some information already. Uh, but when you download the template, it'll be blank. You won't have any event types or colors or anything like that already selected. Uh, you can start from scratch and you can build your own calendar within a few minutes. Uh, you're good to go. Uh, but this time I'm using some sample data so that I can illustrate how the template works. Uh, you, you start with the home sheet where you enter basic information about when when you want the calendar to begin and then which month and which weekday give your calendar a name and then choose which ones are weekends or for your for your business uh, or for your purpose and then if you have any holidays that you want to recognize on the calendar just type those holidays in this table here and then you can have up to 12 different event types event types are nothing but groups of events which share some similarities so in this case for example um, all the holidays have given a different color lavender all the project launches are given blue colors all the project milestones are purple things like that so you can enter any names for your event types choose the colors from the 15 that are available there is help information on the top right where you can actually you know go to the product page or the support page which is going to have a lot of additional information to help you uh, and the site and the contact email uh, if you have any questions about the template now events is where we actually will be entering the events in a separate video i have uh, I explain how to enter the data and what all these different frequency types are. But uh, I just want to point out that there are these are the 12 different frequency types that you have that you can choose to create automatically the recurring events. And then you have additional optional information where you can enter the description of the event, start time and custom columns, which you can use for your own other purposes. And um, so the events is where you actually enter the data and then we have all these seven sheets which will provide you the different calendar designs they're all automatically created there's no data entry after this the only thing you have will be entering new events as new events come in and then go to yearly for example it's already ready to go it's ready to be printed so go to file print 
there you have it you can print it or you can hit export and export it to a pdf and this one will gen just generate one page uh, and then the yearly with events also will be one page but you can actually have the event names listed um, and as i've explained before the difference between the event and an instance um, so one event can have multiple instances so if i want to list all the instances I hit instances, now I can see all of them. You can have up to 150 listed on this page because that's the limit of this one page. You can have 150 different events or 150 instances listed for you. The monthly design is one page um, for each month and you can have 12 pages. So for example, I have January and the next page is February, March and so on. So 12 pages totally. The monthly with events will actually show multiple events per day listed in different colors. And these are the, um, you know, the, the monthly with events design where each month is shown in a different page. And I can go to file print and you can see that January, February, March. So 12 different pages. One month design is a new design. And this is only one month at a time but you can have actually up to 10 events listed per day. And so this is uh, where 10 events can be listed. And that is the maximum number of events per day when you look at a monthly design. And weekly with events is where you, you will see seven days worth of events and you can type in any date here and then it'll instantly update your calendar. It will show the events for that week and the legend is at the top. Daily with events, you enter the date of your choice and then all the events for that specific day will be listed by the time, sorted by the time. And um, you can also list custom columns. And these are custom columns that we saw over here in the events sheet where you can enter, use it for the room number or building number or something like that for your event. And in the daily view, it will actually list room number and building. So this is only for one day and 20 events per day can be listed. So these are the different seven different designs that you have. And as I said, all of these are pre-built, ready to be printed or exported to PDF. The only data entry comes in here and, um, and you can always come back next year, for example, to change the calendar year and then build a new brand new calendar within this with the same Excel template. You will also be able to reuse a lot of the events that you have. Um, and I will provide some other videos where I will explain how you can actually um, have events that may go across multiple I mean, years. For example, if it's a birthday, it's going to repeat on the same day every year. How can you create such an event so that you don't have to recreate that event every year? Uh, it will automatically do it for you. So I'll provide some videos to further extend this template's functionality. Um, and for now, if you have any questions about the features of this template or how to use it, uh, please leave me a comment and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you very much for watching the video.